Hey、hey hey 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 Oh, this feels a little weird.、Uh, it's been a while since I've actually made a video. I've just been kind of、uh, living life, going places. I've been going to San Francisco a lot more, and that is what I'm also going to be doing today. And I feel like I don't really take you guys out anywhere. And there's a reason for that, of course. It's just kind of weird to vlog in public, especially with like Corona and stuff like that. But I am going to be trying to do that today, get more comfortable with it. So hopefully, I'll be making more like. Vlogs outside, going places, and things like that, because that seems to be more of the trend as things are opening up. Today, we're going to be visiting Japantown in San Francisco. The plan today is that I am seeing my friend Violet, purplish blue, on YouTube. Go check her out if you have not yet. And、um, it was her birthday recently, and she has launched a new business. And I will leave a link in below to the Instagram to that, so make sure to follow that as well because it's super exciting and super cool. And I thought it would be cool to give her a present. And so I'm going to go to Japantown to see what I can find. Uh, maybe something like tea related, something a little Japan style related. When I think about Japantown, especially in San Francisco, it's kind of, I just feel like, where all the anime nerds congregate.、Uh, and then there's like ramen and like other Japanese food there as well. So I'm just gonna go up and see what kind of trouble I can get into. I'm taking you guys along. If you're unfamiliar with Japantown in San Francisco, this might be a good video to check out, and I'll just tag some places that I go to so you can check them out in the future as well. Now, another reason why I don't really vlog in public or just like do videos where I'm traveling a lot is because just like my camera situation. So, this is what I use it's a、uh, Canon EOS Rebel SL2. It's probably one of the more compact. For Canon cameras, and I've been using this for quite some time ever since I went to Japan. When you carry this around, they, people either think you're a photographer or if you're actually trying to vlog with this, like this is a hefty thing to be vlogging with. So I've been trying to upgrade for a while, trying to see what、uh, other options there are. But in the meantime, I'm not going to be taking this, I'm going to be taking my other camera that I have. More specifically, for just like cinematic and outdoor stuff. And that is the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, the only reason why I don't use this a whole lot is because sometimes the lighting can be a little weird. The other reason is the microphone on the camera, not so great, and I don't really have a professional mic for it either. And if you're interested in this camera, I'll put a link down below. I do think it's like a super amazing travel camera if you're just trying to catch some quick footage. But, anyways, Let's head out because it's already getting late and I need to go. A few moments later. So I made it and I found a quiet spot to actually film. It's pretty quiet today. There's like no one here. As you can see. <laughs> But、um, I am just gonna walk around, find a present or two for my friend. Because it's already like 4 30, so things are gonna start closing pretty soon. And、um, I'll probably voice over the rest so you guys can kind of know what's going on. Let's go. Exploring Japan Town alone on a weekday was a very interesting experience to say the least. The pandemic has hit this area hard, and a lot of shops and restaurants have very odd hours or just weren't open. So plan ahead if you're coming through. The pagoda is the main attraction, but I was a man on a mission and went straight into the mall to find a present for my friend. But let me break down what I saw. There's a row of restaurants and izakayas in the West Mall that vaguely remind me of Omoide Yokocho, which is Memory Lane in Shinjuku. But literally, I mean vaguely. The fake food in the front was a plus, cause you always see this in Japan. And then I found this. It's not like I patent my ideas, but if I think of cherry blossom trees, I am Sakura no Mao sama, de shou. Not nearly as good as my masterpiece, but hey, Japantown, hit me up if you want a redesign. Anyways, there were a few key things that I wanted to highlight. Firstly, is Tantan, which is a tea house kind of feel that I can 100% imagine seeing in Japan, and also could never see myself going in. 
but I say that screams authenticity. Also, I heard this omakase place is pretty bomb as long as you're one of those SF guys that makes bags of money a day. And then there's the more cringe-worthy stores, which would make Japantown not authentic if they didn't have them, but they have a number of anime stores, a katana store, and other vendors that sell a lot of Japanese products that your average otaku needs to have in their bedroom. I also stopped in Soko Hardware, where they have a lot of knickknacks from paper lanterns to bamboo to bento boxes and so much more. And finally, I had to take note of the famous Benkyodo Manju, which is never open at a convenient time for me, meaning I will probably never be able to get anything from here. Alright, so I am already back in my car. I've been here for about an hour, I think. I think I got here around like 4.30ish. It's 5.30 and pretty much everything, like all the stores that actually sell stuff are closed now. I think because everything closes early, this is more geared towards like, it's like touristy. It's for tourists who are visiting San Francisco because they can come at like any hour compared to people who actually work in San Francisco or around the Bay Area. It's hard for us to like schedule our time to actually come here during the day. Oh, let me just do a quick haul. I just got like two very simple things for my friend Violet. They're very much tea related because not only does she like tea and she's making the tea company, but you know, I just wanted to incorporate tea into everything like her birthday and the company and just her life in general. So there was a store that was selling tea and also just like tea products like teapots and cups and stuff like that. I thought this was pretty cool. Like you know how much I like sakura things but it's this teapot and it has a cherry blossom on it and just has a little more of a rustic look that looks a little more traditionally Japanese compared to other teapots that have like the marble glaze or just like the glaze in general. So I got that. I'm sure she already has teapots but we're going with like a tea theme here so I figured like you know that's not a bad thing. This next one I honestly don't know if I could get this anywhere else besides this store just because it looks more like handmade, handcrafted, um, not necessarily one of a kind because she pulled out like another one after I already gave it to her because I was like oh there was only one on the shelf so I was like oh this is very unique but then she pulled out another one and was like oh check it for marks and I'm like well okay but you know Sakura has like a spring theme so I wanted a fall theme so I got this little cup and it has a bunch of these like leaves on it as well and it just looks so like kind of rustic and cool and very autumn very like when you're sipping your tea in the autumn weather and it's just like pretty chill so I thought this was pretty cool as well throughout just like coming here actually like a few times over the past few weeks it's kind of hard to describe but I just get kind of a weird feeling when I'm in Japantown. Just trying to decide whether it's cringe or not because it very interestingly incorporates like what you would think of Akihabara and Harajuku with more like traditional Japanese things as well and I feel like those things are kind of more separate entities when you're in Japan because you can go to like Asakusa and that's much more like temple and much more old style Japan compared to going to Harajuku and Akihabara and Shibuya. Japan town is small so they kind of have to just try their hardest to incorporate all that stuff into a small space which I think they do a pretty good job at. It just feels weird me like living in Japan compared to me coming here and also like the idea of using Japanese in Japan town because I don't know if they know Japanese or not either so I don't want to like automatically assume and also like it's kind of weird because I don't want them to judge me for having bad Japanese since I haven't used it in a long time. Compared to like in Japan, like I would just use it freely knowing that I'm bad because I'm a foreigner anyway. So like I kind of had that like foreigner confidence I guess you would say. So I wouldn't mind making mistakes as long as they understood and I was putting myself out there. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. If you can, comment below and say like you're not actually crazy because <laughs> that would be like helpful to hear that from someone other than my own subconscious but i think now i'm just gonna chill in san francisco hopefully have a good dinner maybe i'll take a few shots of that before i um 
finish up this video. Make sure to like this video and just like do all that kind of stuff. I try not to care about views and interactions and stuff like that, but the videos haven't been getting much attention lately. Obviously, I haven't been posting as much either, so there's always like that kind of thing as well. But uh, make sure to just give it some love and give me a little more inspiration to keep posting. And yeah, if this is the end, then yay! And if, the, if I'm gonna cut to another clip, then you got a little more video to watch. See ya!